For about the past month, I've been running this chest freezer as a refrigerator. So in this video, I'll show you how I did it. It's actually pretty straightforward. Here we go. Running a chest freezer as a refrigerator has several advantages. For one, these are very efficient. This chest freezer, which is old and large, is actually twice as efficient as my stand-up refrigerator freezer unit inside the house. This unit can use less than 500 watt hours per day if it's inside the garage. Out here in the bright sun, when we're hitting 90 degrees every day, it's been using more like 600 watt hours per day. But still, that's not very much. I've been running it just off this one solar panel and a little uh, battery pack, and you'll see that in a minute. A friend of mine was able to help me out and get this, uh, get this vinyl cut. It'll look a lot better than my uh, paper Sharpie sign. We've been getting quite a few deliveries lately, and it's uh, been about 90 degrees the past week uh, as a high during the day, and that's pretty hot here in Massachusetts. And so long as I don't have to pay for the electricity from the grid to do this, I'm happy to be able to uh, be able. I'm happy to be able to give a little thanks to the delivery drivers. This side of the building faces east, so in the morning it's getting blasted with the sunshine until about noon, then it's in the shade, and we just leave it out here all day and all night. It's been running non-stop for the last 10 days off this one solar panel and the little portable power station I have connected to it. I'll show you that in a sec. But these chest freezers are very efficient. They have more insulation on them than a normal refrigerator, and the cold air doesn't fall out when you open the door. Now, I was able to pick this one up for free. It was being given away on Craigslist. Now, I had to go pull it out of the barn myself <laughs> that it was stored in, and I had to pressure wash it inside and out. And around the compressor, I had to vacuum that, and I redid a little bit of the electrical that uh, some mice had chewed into, or squirrels, or something like that. So I replaced a little piece of wire and this thing is actually running really well. So I wound up buying an additional part uh, which has a remote temperature sensor connected to a relay and a device that allows me to set the temperature inside this controller. I currently have it set to between 32 and 38 degrees. Seems to work well. Nothing's been frozen since I did that. This mechanical thermostat is just turned all the way up and then the temperature sensor runs down the side to this controller. So let's go ahead and plug this in. So we are at 60 hertz and 110 volts. So let's go ahead and plug this in. All right, so you heard the relay click first and that was the relay for this. And then the compressor kicked on and then the fan of the portable power station kicked on. We're drawing two amps. We're at 0.94 for the power factor. We're drawing 200 and... So a little over 200 watts. This whole contraption is running off of a Blue Eddy 240. That means it has the 2.4 kilowatt battery with a 1000 watt inverter. Now that 1000 watt inverter is a high frequency inverter, but it is able to start this compressor and it's been out here connected for almost two weeks now. I've never had to do anything. It just keeps running. It keeps itself charged with the solar panel, which is a 365 watt solar panel. And it's connected to that thing and no issues. So I'm really pleased with that. In a future video, I will be doing a full review of the Blue Eddy. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.